Tracy here. Today I thought I'd share with you my March tag as I am doing the 2014 Tim Holtz monthly tag challenge. So here is my take on his tag and here is his tag which there maybe you can see it better there. There's the two different tags and I'll post a link to his his blog post so you can see his. So I tried to do a lot of the same text techniques as he did. For one thing, I didn't have the same stamp, of course, so I used my own stamp. And I tried to use the twisting technique. Once you stamp it, you twist it with a one of his foam applicators. Mine didn't go as... Um, I guess it's supposed to blotch the stamp a bit, but I don't know if it really worked for me. But that's okay. I like I like how it turned out. I like how... Um, I like the color, actually. I added a lot of his distress markers, and I just used my water brush to pull the color but you have to be careful because it's stamped with distress ink and everything activates with water or reactivates with the water so you have to be careful not to mix the colors and make them all like um, muddy looking and then I used his tree branch dye I don't know if it's a tree dye or a tree branch dye but I used that and I used it as a branch and I took an exacto knife and I cut out some of the flowers on the tag so I glued them over top of the the branch so it looked more realistic they're still attached to the tag this is my failed attempt at it the first time but as you can see it's cut out here and it's cut out there so they're still attached to the tag um, I just flip them up halfway so I can put the tag or I'm sorry the branch underneath there and then I added some washi tape for some more color and I used his background stencil the dot fade or faded dots I use that I don't have his um, uh, airbrush thingamajig. I don't know what it's really called. I just used a foam applicator and that's how I did that. And I think Stamping Up used to or still sells one of those same applicators he's selling as well. And then for the tag here or the, the tie, I also use washi tape. I just taped them together. And this was a little white for me so I just used some Distress ink to, to grunge it up a little bit so it wasn't as bright. So this is my take on Tim Holtz tag for March and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I really like that it's really springy because I am so tired of the snow. We still have like five, five foot snow banks and I'm really over the snow and you know what we're supposed to get 10 to 15 centimeters more snow tonight so spring will come it does every year it's just taking its sweet time <laughs> mind you I probably say that every year so there is my take on Tim's tag and I did a little process video on this if you wanted to to keep watching So here is the image that I used. I don't have the same stamp set that Tim used. Funny thing is, I thought I had a stamp set from Stamping Up with the egg and everything on it, and I went to look for it, and I couldn't find it. So I looked uh, in their magazine, and it doesn't even exist. So I must have some very creative dreams to think up different stamp sets <laughs> in my head and thinking that I actually have them. Now, I don't have the feather stamp, and I really... I don't really like the feathers. I don't know why. That's just not one of the things that I'm into. So I thought I want to make it look like the nest is on a tree branch. So I'm going to play around with stamping this and see what it looks like. And then I will come back when I'm done with that. Okay, this was an epic fail. I thought I would stamp um, some tree bark on the side here so it looked like a tree was growing up there but you know what I didn't like how that looked obviously because it looks like crap <laughs> so I turned it over and I'm running out of these tags like I had said before I'm gonna have to pick some more up or make some more but um, this side had picked up some ink from the sheets that I used so I just kind of wet my rag I ha this is what I cleaned my stamp off with just a rag so I wet my rig and I put color all over it and just to cover up because there was like big brown marks all around restamped it because if it didn't work no biggie but if it did work perfect I didn't have to waste a tag and then I cut out the tree branch and I actually stamped the wood grain on the tree branch or I, I this is actually a tree his tree die what is it branch tree I guess this branch tree die and I'm just going to trim that up a bit, but I like how it 
how the nest is like in the conca concave of the tree. So I'm going to keep going on with that and I'm going to add color by painting inside here. So we will see how that looks. Here is my tag so far. I used the distress markers to color in the image and then just pulled along the color with my water brush and then I used some washi tape down here and here to add some more color. I stamped a little saying on there and then those little dots is from a stencil and I also cut with my exacto knife some of these flowers up because when I put the branch on it was covering too much of the flower so um, let me put this in place and then I'll get back to you and I should probably be finished with the tag by then. So here's the completed tag and as you can see I fussy cut this out with an exacto knife some of the flowers to put over top of the branch because I didn't like that they were covering but I still wanted the branch to peek out so I fussy cut that and I also it wasn't until I glued it down that it, the branch seemed to blend too much into the background I thought so I went around it with my distress marker to make the branch pop out so that is my tag Thank you everybody so much for watching and I hope you had a very creative day today. Bye now. My tag for Tim Holtz 2013, nope, 2014. Okay, so here is my card, nope, for the background. And background, um, you just squeeze it, squeeze the ball or <laughs> that's that little thing you squeeze in the Oh, what the hell is that thing called? <laughs>